Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about how to format really big numbers. And when I say really big numbers, I mean times 10 to the 308th big number. Uh, you find these numbers sometimes in idle games or clicker games or, uh, I don't know, even combat games where you just want to have really big juicy numbers. And uh, obviously formatting those numbers can be a challenge. So today I'm going to show you a simple way to use an order of magnitude approach to format those numbers and display them in your game. I'm going to be doing it in Construct 3, which is the video game engine that I, I use most often, but I'm sure you'll be able to take this concept and apply it to other game engines as well. So with that said, let's jump over into the browser. Okay, so first I made a little demo game here that I'm going to post along with the source code with the art removed uh, in the links uh, below the video. But I want to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. So when we are used to seeing numbers, we might be used to just seeing, um, you know, 547, right? That's a small number. A very big number might be something to the 239th. OCSPG. You know what? I'm not even sure what that stands for. Let's jump over to name. That's what that stands for. So I've taken the time to translate the names and also the abbreviations for all of the orders of magnitudes up to the power of 308. And the reason 308 is chosen um, is for it being the max possible number that you can have, at least in JavaScript. So let's show you a couple things before we continue. First of all, why do we care about uh, the order of magnitude of 308? This Medium article, I'll post this as well, they talk about it in a little bit more detail. I'm not going to pretend to fully uh, comprehend all this, IEEE 754 standard. Um, but Ultimately, the max value that you can have in JavaScript is this big long number here to the 308th. And so if you're making some idle game where everything keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, um, or any other genre where you have big numbers, you're going to need to know how to operate in this realm. So there's a great article I found that I based my uh, notations off of. So I will link this in the video below. And it's on realmgrinder.fandom.com. Uh, and on this article, they go through and they take the time to uh, dictate what all of the names are for these numbers up to the power of 308. So, I mean, we're familiar with the millions becoming the billions and the trillions and the quadrillions even. Um, but you'll find that there actually is a pattern to how all of these uh, big numbers are named and their nomenclatures. So... In order to present this to the user who's playing your game, uh, you need to probably use a combination of either scientific notation or um, short numbering uh, with this abbreviation used, uh, or you can display the name itself, but some of these names get really long. Okay, so let's jump over into the game engine of Construct where I have taken the time to put that into an event sheet for us to process. So the game itself here isn't very important, so I won't really spend any time on it. Suffice it to say, in my game, I hit the space bar and it shoots an arrow. And when that arrow hits my Cyclops, uh, it does a few things and it shows this big number. Um, so let's look at that event, though, for when the Cyclops actually is hit. So when that arrow hits the Cyclops, I do a few things. I... I set an animation for it to look like he's being hurt, but the most important thing I'm doing is I'm actually preparing a random number, you might have a much more complicated system, to be fed into a function, which I'm gonna make available to everybody, uh, that's going to format it based off of which formatting style that you wanna use from the dropdown that I've enabled in the game. So I'm selecting a random number between one and 10, and that's because we're dealing with orders of magnitude, so, uh, I want it to be within that 1 to 10 range. Uh, and then from there, what I'm ultimately doing is I am multiplying that 1 to 10 random number uh, by the 10 to the order of magnitude that you've selected on your slider bar. So anywhere from 
zero up to 307 is what I've allowed because there would be some values that would go over that threshold of 308 if I went all the way up to 308 and it would just show an AN. Um, and then based off what you choose, I feed it to this function called get formatted OOM order magnitude name. And I give it the value as well as what, how I'd like it to be formatted. And for you guys, you might decide to format it differently, but you'll see for how I implemented it that you can kind of concatenate and show it in however you want to do it. Um, so the first thing that you have to do is you have to actually compute for the number that's being fed to it what the order of magnitude is. And like I said, I'm using construct here, but you can do it in any game engine. So order of, mag order of magnitude is set to the int of the log 10 of the number that you fed it. And now you have order of magnitude. Now, this next part is a little brute force, and it was a little painful to do, uh, which is why I do want to share this so that somebody else can do it. There might be a more clever way to handle these scenarios, but I decided just to do the brute force and uh, go down through each of the order of magnitude groups and assign the name, the abbreviation, and the notation. And from these, once you have these, you can actually make your string however you want it to be for the for the player. You can use some combination of these. You can use just one of them. Um, and I've just shown a few possible options. The other fun thing that you can do here is maybe you want to come up with your own numbering scale, uh, something that's more interesting than, you know, I don't know, let's pick one of these. Unvigentillion. Un I don't even know if I pronounced that correct. Um, so, you know, feel free to have fun with it. But if you go through here, uh, and this goes all the way down to 308, which is why it was painful. So I, I hope that somebody finds this useful. <laughs> um, once you have that, uh, what you do is um, you're able to come in here and say, okay, um, if it's default value, which is one of the drop-down selections, I'm going to return from my function the number, if it's in zero, one, and two, I just really just want to see the number. And there's some formatting going on here. Uh, some improvements to this function that you might decide to make is I'm always showing it to two decimals. You might not want to have any decimals, and in which case this formatting gets a lot simpler. You don't need this um, times 100 divided by 100 nonsense. If you wanted three decimals, you would multiply it by 1,000, divide by 1,000, um, and so on. But I don't really want to show for a number like 100 the order of magnitude because it's a small number. So then if it's 3 to 8, I want to see the abbreviation like 300 or, I don't know, M or B or uh, T. I guess T would fall under here now for trillion. Um, and then if it's over 9, I want to see the abbreviation and I want to see the notation. So I want to know... Because I may not know unventillion, unvigitillion, or whatever the number is, is times 10 to the 172. I might need a number next to it for context. So I chose this to be my default value. I also provided a couple other simple options, value and name, and value and abbreviation, that you can select between. Uh, up here, I also added a few utilities. I don't know what you might use this for, but if you want to know just the name, or the abbreviation, or the notation, uh, whether maybe it's a UI element or something else, um, you can also get that back and returned. So if you come back to the game, let's play it one more time. Now that you've seen um, what we're doing here, and if we go from default value, let's go to value and abbreviation. And now you see DC for 35. And I don't know, let's go up to 283. Don't know what that's going to be. T nog. I'm going to mine 280 T-Nogs worth of gold. I don't know, but you get the idea. I mean, some of these games do like to use big numbers, and they're kind of fun, and it makes your game be able to essentially almost be able to scale into infinity. Um, and when you do decide to go that route, you just need a way of simply formatting your, 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 your number. So hopefully uh, somebody will find this useful. Uh, you know, if you like this video, please take the time to subscribe. 
I don't have many uh, subscribers right now, but it's uh, it's been a fun hobby for me so far, and each time somebody subscribes, it, it makes my day. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, also, one last thing, this artwork is from craftpicks.net. Uh, it is a fabulous place to grab 2D art. I do subscribe to it. I'll put a referral link down below. Uh, feel free to check it out. And also, all of this will be available on itch, which I'll link as well, um, without the art, since I can't distribute that. All right, everybody, have a nice day.